everybody we are back with another review and today we're gonna be checking out my top rolling tray for 2020 so without further ado let's hop right into this review today we got a, a pretty sick tray obviously it's probably gonna be from raw because they make the best stuff let's be completely honest about this uh they make some of the best stuff when it comes to smoking um apparel smoking tools uh smoking uh delicacies if you will i mean they have a, a gold ring that you could smoke a cone through i mean so yeah they make some pretty dope stuff i mean not only that but they also bring in a lot of art too which is great so today actually let's check out a runner up first before we check out my favorite one which is right over here runner up was actually going to be this jeremy fish this was a 2020 drop right here as well jeremy fish artist series rolling tray now this is a tray that they dropped of the first of its kind that i've seen really where it was like a true artist series like this i believe they did a colombo collab as well where it had like a bunch of dollar bills on it like done in origami style um really really sick tray that was a colombo crossover they don't actually number their trays or do any type of special insignia on there like ocb will do like a hollow foil sticker with like the numbered run on the inside lip over here but I'm assuming that this artist series, since it is an artist series, is an actual limited run as well. Some things will say limited edition, some do not, like I said. But this one, again, was my runner-up. This was one of my favorite trays they did drop in 2020, but I would say not my top one. The top one's pretty sick. Um, yeah, and if you know me, you'll probably know why I like that one for sure as well. This one is friggin' sweet, though. Like I said, runner-up on this one. This is a dope tray. This is not something that I would use on a regular basis, more of like a collector's item if you would um like i said not something that you i would actually put product on and use on a regular basis it's something more so that would stay inside the plastic bag and just hang out you know what i'm saying as a collector's piece uh because i don't i wouldn't want to put any marks or scratches on it and i'd want to kind of keep it the way that it was but like i said runner up for this year um but let's get on to the top one my top tray top tray of 2020 is from raw yep and it's going to be the zombie tray Let's check this out. I actually got a new one here. We're going to cut this one out to get the glare out of the picture. Let's see what we got here. Here is all the stuff that comes with it, just so you can see all that. It does have a little piece of foam on the bottom to keep the brass from getting scratched, which is nice. And it also comes with the raw authenticity certificate right here, which most things that are larger do have some kind of a raw authenticity, you know, um, wordage, if you would, on the product. The small packs of papers obviously uh, don't, but the, you know, like the box does. So there you go. Congratulations on purchasing this raw rolling tray built to our high standards with thicker metal and perfectly smooth non-stick rolling surfaces, which is good actually if you use cards, which I'll show you in a second. To make sure you have purchased a genuine raw rolling tray, please raw authenticate me, which is scan this basically this uh, barcode at the bottom here and uh, it'll basically raw authenticate it for you or let you know if it's a real one or not because you can see all the codage at the bottom there underneath the QR code um, that's basically all part of it as well uh, they are free and they won't you know if they don't already have one installed please visit I guess raw authenticate.com will have you put that number in so basically uh, you can just pull your camera up and scan that you can actually scan mine on your screen if you want and you can see how authentic this tray is Pretty cool on that. This is something new that they started doing with this Rothenicate thing. This wasn't, it, I mean, they had like a, a paragraph basically. They used to include explaining the whole uh, raw rolling tray backstory, which is what you see right here. They just kind of added a few more things in here with these pictures. And they also have the actual scan barcode there for companies and whatnot. There are the hashtags. There is their social media right there. Raw life on Instagram, Rothenicate or Rothenic.com. And then raw life is the hashtag as we all know so well we've been reviewing raw in here since 2016 so pretty sweet i've uh, been buying their stuff for a long time since at least 20 2007 i should say 20 um but yeah 2007 started selling their stuff in 2014 so yeah it's uh it's pretty neat it's a, it's a good company it's you know when you find a good company you could stand by them and you can stand by their products because they make consistent products which this is a sick tray and consistently cool along with all the other trays they have done over the years but for 2020 i would say this zombie tray is definitely my favorite drop i think it's totally sick uh it's even got on here on the tombstone for 2020 rip roll in peace 
which I mean, that's pretty dope too. Um, it's not overly branded raw, which is nice. It's subtly branded raw because it's got the zombie hand coming out of the ground holding the pack of papers versus it just being like branded like here in the corner or something, just their logo. So I like how they subtly did that because the thing that, the constant theme on the channel is raw trays have a tendency to be over over branded, you know what I'm saying? And it's not more so focused on the art. Like that's part of the reason why we like the Jeremy Fish rolling tray, which we have done a review on on the channel. Like I said, subtle branding. They did it on the hat bill right here in the brim. That's pretty sick. I mean, that's 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 how I would want it. I wouldn't want it to be overtly branded, um, which a lot of their stuff is. But like I said, I'm glad they did the subtle branding on this particular one. I dig the colors. It's bright. It's vibrant. Again, this is a tin. This is a metal rolling tray, so it's not going to be something you're going to want to use your metal card on. Here's your raw three-way shredder card, which is straight up just solid metal this is not something you'd want to dig on this surface it would just put paint into your product not something you want to use what you're going to want to use is either your magnetic card from raw which like they said it's an easy glide on the tray when you're using a plastic card like this you got minimal traction on the tray as well and like i said this nice magnifying card works really nice it's not too thick even your cone loader card which is a little bit thicker it's a little bit thicker than your magnetic card, which is super thin, as you can see. Um, this is still going to glide fine on the top of the surface of this and not dig into the um, shine or the, I guess you could say, the coating on the outside of the tray and then eventually dig down into the paint, which is going to get into your product, which is, again, the thing you do not want to have happen is to be basically having this stuff digging into your product. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, this paint, this beautiful paint job that you have on this tray. You don't want to be smoking that at all. So uh, like I said, make sure you use the right, the right tools when you're actually working with trays like this. If you want to preserve the artwork, of course, and you don't want to smoke the paint, um, it preserves the tray as well. I mean, again, if you're going to use these trays, they're, I mean, they are nice and they're nice functional, at least get the most mileage out of them, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, this right here is, like I said, my favorite tray of 2020. But I guess if we're going to round circle back, I guess I could say my still my favorite rolling tray of all time is not the zombie one, which the zombie one is sick. I mean, this is a sick theme. I don't know what, what was up this year. I mean, with the zombies, they brought back Marvel zombies in the Funko line. And now we got zombie trays. I mean, they got Walking Dead spinoffs. All kinds. Zombies is apparently a popular thing. But we got the limited run here, which is the glass the glass rolling tray from raw this is probably my favorite one of all time and then i'm going to one up this one as well because they actually upgraded it so here's the tray right here which is a solid piece of glass you can see tempered glass there the printing is on the other side of this glass which is nice because that allows you to do this to use your metal card on this i mean you could use anything on this obviously but the metal card this is the, this is the machine that I would use with this particular piece of glass. I would not use this this grinder machine with um, you know, any of these other tin trays because like I said, it will remove the paint, but this is perfectly fine. Like I said, the logo is printed on the back here, which is perfect. It's great so you can clean this top surface over here when you get your, your little buildup on here, you can clean it perfectly with some nice isopropanol. So that again, this is my favorite tray because not only is it functional, but it's, it's not overtly branded. I mean, it's got their brand in the center here. And what they did was they must have listened to me because when I did my review, that was the one thing that I said. I kind of wish that it wasn't on there and it was just like a nice glass tray with something subtle. But they ended up upgrading it. And check out what they ended up making next. Let's get this out of the way. So this is probably my favorite one of all time. This is the one that I actually use. Not this particular tray. I just have a new, an extra one that's a new one. But this one right here is my favorite tray of all time. I mean, top tray. I mean, the raw glass tray is it. But this one... The ice tray is definitely my favorite because the branding got a little bit less and I dig the frosting. I dig the frosted look on this. I dig the fact that it's not, there's not that red raw logo on this. It's actually, like I said, subtly branded. It's on the, it's on the back here in the etching. That's what's allowing this branding to even happen. So again, it's something that you're going to be able to use your metal card on, plastic card, doesn't matter. You can clean it with isopropanol. This has no paint on it whatsoever. It's just etched glass. Don't mind the uh, the paint. I'm working on a custom for a friend at the moment. But like I said, the other one has paint, so it's not something that I would particularly, uh, I don't know, want to put a lot of isopropanol on over time, you know, over and over again. With something like this, you can clean the top side, the back side. It's completely functional. It still has their branding so that they feel, you know, feel good with making the product. 
But again, like I said, it's something that's completely functional and it's beautiful tray. The etched glass is nice. The frosted look is beautiful. So like I said, favorite tray of all time, favorite tray of 2020. It'd be nice one of these years that something tops this tray. This tray has been, I want to say, my top tray for at least two years. This one right here, the raw glass one with the etching and the frosting, this one has been my top one for last year. It'd be nice if they dropped something else that could top this tray, but I highly doubt it because this is probably the sickest one that they've ever dropped. Limited run on this one as well. Not something that I don't think you could even find anymore. I mean, they have them on eBay and flipper sites, but I, if you could find one at a head shop or a glass, a glass gallery or something like that, a glass store, then you know, scoop one of these up because you're, you're going to get it for probably around sixty dollars or more, depending on what the markup's going to be. But they're even more on the internet. You know, what I'm saying if you're going to buy flipper prices, so. So you're here and over there. Why don't you let me know down in the comments below what did you think of my pick for 2020's top tray, the zombie tray? What is your favorite rolling tray down in the comments below? Let me know down there. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this? Subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that and have a great rest of your day.